greeting and welcome all on behalf of Nimi Chennai. I am G. Rajvarna from NSTI Chennai. Our today's topic is lifting and handling of heavy loads. The subtopic is manual lifting techniques. Objectives. At the end of this class, you shall be able to state lifting operation and its types. You can able to state manual liftings of heavy loads. And also list the possible injuries while lifting heavy loads. And also you can able to explain the correct manual lifting techniques of heavy loads. So lifting of heavy loads, is that that much difficult? Yes, of course. Uh, wrong techniques will result in injuries. But while we are using the correct technique, it will be safe handling. Okay. Now, lifting of operation. What does it mean? Just lifting? No. Is the operation concerned with lifting and lowering the load safely? So, the load. The load can be a single item or a number of items. And it can be lifted by a person or by a group of persons. The lifting method can be divided into two types. One is manual lifting techniques and the using lifting equipment. Manual handling of heavy loads. Manual lifting, holding, putting down, carrying or moving is often referred to as manual handling of loads. Many of the accidents reported in industries involve injuries caused by lifting and carrying loads wrongly. A technician may need to install motors, lay heavy cables, do wirings which may involve a lot of lifting and carrying of loads. But the wrong way of lifting may cause injury to the muscles and joints even though the load is not heavy. It means a load need not necessarily be very heavy to cause injuries. Further injuries during lifting and carrying may be caused by tripping over an object and falling or striking an object with the load. Types of injuries Cuts and abrasions Crushings of feet or hands strain to muscles and joints. Now let us see in detail one by one. Cuts and abrasions. Cuts and abrasions are caused by rough surfaces and jagged edges. By splinters and sharp or pointed projections can create this cuts and abrasions. Leather hand gloves will usually be sufficient for protection. But the load should be checked to make sure of this since large or heavy loads may involve body contact as well. Next one is crushing of feet or hands. Feet or hands should be so positioned that they will not be trapped by the load. Timber wedges can be used when raising and lowering heavy loads to ensure fingers and hands are not caught and crushed. Safety shoes with a steel toe caps will protect the feet. The next one is strain to muscles and joints. Strains to muscles and joints may be the result of lifting a load which is too heavy or of lifting incorrectly. Stoop lifting. The lifting from a standing position with the back rounded. That means the stoop lifting increases the chances of back injury. The human spine is not an efficient weight lifting machine and it can be easily damaged if incorrect techniques are used. So it should be noted the stress on a rounded back can be about 6 times greater than if the spine is kept straight. Now next what we are going to see is factors involved in manual lifting. Loads which seems light enough to carry at first time will become progressively heavier the farther you have to carry it. It means a load will be seems heavier as you carrying it for a 
long distance even though the load is not that much heavy. The weight that a person can lift will vary according to his ages, his physique and health condition. The aged people can lift only minimum weight but the young age people can lift a good weight. So, physique and health conditions also involved in the lifting techniques. What makes an object difficult to lift and carry? First one is, weight is not the only factor which makes it difficult to lift and carry. The size and shape can make an object difficult to handle. Light loads require the arms to be extended in front of the body which places more strain on back and stomach. The absence of handhold or natural handling points can make it difficult to raise and carry the object. Now let us see in details of correct manual lifting techniques. Approach the load squarely facing the direction of the travel. Second one. The lift should start with the lifter in a balanced squatting position with the legs slightly apart and the load to be lifted held close to the body. Then ensure that a safe firm hand grip is obtained. Before the weight is taken, the back should be straightened and held as near the vertical position as possible. Next one is to raise the load first straight in the legs. Actually this ensures that the lifting strain is being correctly transmitted and is being taken by the powerful thigh muscles and bones. Now look directly ahead not down at the load while straightening up and keep the back straight. This will ensure a smooth natural movement without jerking or straining. To complete the lift, raise the upper part of the body to the vertical position. When a load is near to an individual's maximum lifting capacity, it will be necessary to lean back on the hip slightly before straightening up. It could make a counterbalance of the load. Now, keeping the load well near to the body, carry it to the place where it is to be set down. Now, you lifted the load. Now, how to lower the load? There are some methods of lowering the load. So, let us see. Make sure the area is clear of any obstructions. Bend the knees to a semi-squatting position. Now, keep the back and head erect by looking straight ahead, not down at the load. It may be helpful to rest the elbows on the thighs during the final stage of lowering. So, now you can safely lower the load. Okay, now you understand the safe methods of lifting and lowering the load correctly. Okay, right. So, by following the correct techniques of lifting, it will be easy and safe on handling. I hope now you all understand the manual lifting techniques and the factors involved in the lifting and the possible injuries happens while handling the lifting process and the correct and safe methods of manual methods. With the continuation of this class, we will see the details of handling of heavy loads using lifting equipment in industry in our part 2 class. Thank you all and see you.